talking live about burnout, particularly women in their 20s and 30s. Joining the conversation, Dr. Candy Weens, a renowned researcher, national speaker whose book, Burnout Immunity, is out now. It applies to anyone, no matter your age, no matter your gender. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. All right. You're not just an expert, you've lived this. 2011, I believe it was, you had the great job, lucrative job, they tell me, in consulting, raising three boys under the age of six. Yes. That's a recipe for burnout. <laughs> you went into your doctor's office, blood pressure sky high, you reset your life. Yeah. That was 2011, now we're at 2024. Twitter just started in 2008, so a lot yeah. of the stress and burnout comes from social pressures. Um, how do you describe what's happening now? particularly women, I'm like in that 30s mm -hmm. spot. In their 30s. So one of the things I'm hearing from a lot of millennials and Gen Zs is that there's just so much more pressure on them right now to be perfect, to be everything, to have everything. There's that. It's also more socially acceptable to talk about burnout. So I think we're hearing more about it because people are talking about it more. The other thing that's really interesting is during COVID, I think a lot of people got a taste for the unhurried life. Right. Unhurry my mm -hmm. life. I'm going to slow down a yeah. little bit. Not everybody. Actually, more people got burned out during COVID but many people got a taste of what that life is like. And then when they started to go back to work and their employers were expecting a whole lot more of them because mm. they were making up for lost revenue yes. and pushing more and just more pressure. And so we're seeing just record rates of burnout with millennials and Gen Zs like we haven't seen before. Yeah, but you also see this conflict, right? You, you want the unhurried life, mm -hmm. but I have a couple of friends who quit jobs during, you know, they thought, okay, I want an unhurried life. I have two girlfriends that are trying to get back into the work world mm -hmm. because hurried life finds you. Meaning, mm -hmm. you don't have to be, you, you don't have to want an Hermes bag. This is not for that. No. It's to kids, college, no. expenses of life, right. grocery yeah. store. Absolutely. I mean, listen, I went to the grocery store the other day. You have to check yourself out to pay more for the groceries. I'm like, wait a minute, the eggs cost I more, know. and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm, I'm doing the checkout. Everything costs more. Yeah. We have to work harder. For you it. have to. You have, have to, to work, work harder. harder for it because everything costs more. Mm -hmm. You're just in your 20s and 30s. You probably didn't put anything in a 401k because you quit your first job. No. Nope. So now, <laughs> <laughs> I love Shay. Shay's like zero. <laughs> so now you're on a track. Yeah. I feel like we can't win. We can win. We, we can. can. We can. Yes, I want everyone to know that we can win. We can take control back over. It may not happen overnight. Like in my case, it didn't happen overnight. It was years of work and surrounding myself with the right people. But that's what my research has been about, is looking at people who have found a way to figure it out. Doesn't mean that they haven't been burned out before, that they're not stressed now. But we, we can get ourselves out of it if we are feeling burned out. Okay. We're going to take a quiz. We're gonna, you're thinking we're going to take the quiz together. Okay. The whole audience. We're going to take a burnout quiz. We're going to make sure it's on our social media. Dr. Kenny's not going anywhere. We're going to also talk with a mom who's emotional, post on social media about being brought resonated to people. Are you ready to take the burnout quiz? I'm in. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's a live show, and today we're asking, who's the most burnout? And this is one race I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Dina Lang is a stay-at-home mom to her 11-year-old son, Ellison. She caught our attention when she opened up on Instagram after her first solo weekend trip in a decade was canceled by a flight delay. Take a look. I'm crying because I really, really needed to do something for myself. And I know everybody can relate to that whether you're a mom or you're just a human being, sometimes you just really need to do something for yourself. But it didn't work out. And I get it. Like, there are bigger problems in the world. Oh. <laughs> I know you're fine. Dina is here along with her social media friend who she was supposed to finally meet in person on that trip, Tara Clark, founder of the Modern Mom Probs blog and podcast, which I recently was a guest on. We're also joined by Nakia Hargrove, who wrote an article about her experience with burnout and concerns over passing it on to her kids. In the article, she writes, it doesn't have to be this way. Let's not teach the next generation that this is normal. Please welcome, still with us, Leanne, Shay, Candy are all here. Thank you so much for joining us. I love this mom group action here, family group, lady group, all of us. All of you are amazing. You have one thing in common. 
burnt out. Yeah. <laughs> with all, raise your hand if you have it in common with them. Burnt out, who feels burnt out? Because we're gonna take a quiz to see where we stand on this. Your post resonated with people. You, it, it's the feeling of disappointment, yeah. the solo trip, the break, the anticipation. Um, were you surprised that so many people could relate to this? Shocked, shocked. So I, sh my son's almost 12. Mm. I put all my eggs in that basket. I was, this was, I waited way too long. There he is. Yeah. I waited way too long to do something for myself. And what, had, why did you wait so long, if you don't mind me asking? Life. Life? Work. Um, my work schedule was crazy. So it was work, then it was, it would be financially irresponsible. There's summer camp, and, and mm. I almost didn't book the trip because summer's coming, summer camp, it's so expensive. Mm. Um, and this would have been your first solo trip in 12 years. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So uh, thankfully, Tara and some other girlfriends of ours, <laughs> they talked me into it and they said, you have to, come on. Right. You know, she does, she travels, right. they travel. Yes. And I booked it. And then my flight, uh, I was sitting at the airport and my flight was delayed, then oh. delayed, then delayed. Seven delays. Oh. <laughs> Ultimately, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't leave, leave until almost midnight. So I had to cancel it oh. because... Because you couldn't get out because you had to go back home. Correct. Tara, this story is why you created your conversation with women. Yes. So people would feel less alone. Yes. And identify this very issue of burnout results and you're not taking care of yourself and you find yourself in the car crying because yeah. you can't get a solo trip. Yes. That you deserve. Exactly, that she worked so hard on. Yeah. And we were heartbroken when we saw Dina's video live on, on Instagram, we were all together. And my friends and I, you know, we, we made it on our trip and we saw it and we were all in tears. We were crying because she should have been there with us yeah. and now she is here with us. Yeah. But, but we knew how much it meant. Right. And then they FaceTimed me and I was crying on FaceTime. We were all crying oh, on FaceTime God. together. So we're gonna try to figure it out and redo, you know, what, what should happen. Okay, Part two. okay. <laughs> I love that. Nikia, your your writing and your words really resonated because much like the work that Candy's doing, Dr. Candy, you don't want to pass this on. You have a career now in nonprofit, you have three kids, but you're thinking about, wow, if I don't get this right they think burnout is okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you doing to try to correct this? Yeah, so I work really six days a week. You know, I'm a writer, I'm a mom, um, and I'm a wife. And it's really, really difficult to carve out time for me. Right. Um, and so I wanted my kids to know that I'm paying attention to them. Um, so uh, every Sunday, uh, I don't schedule anything. Mm -hmm. Sunday is our day to be a family together. Do you tell them that? I mean, because if you're trying to oh, yes. create, you know, create tools so that they understand, so you tell them Sunday is our day. Yes, well, I used to make them clean, you know, on Sunday. <laughs> 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 and when I shared with them that we were gonna do nothing on Sunday, they were ecstatic, you know? So well, I'm sure they were. Guess, <laughs> that sounds like my childhood. I was like the lemon pledge responsible on the weekend. <laughs> so, so you've told them it's not just me. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets a break. We're all taking a break to be yeah. together okay. on Sunday. Awesome.